this practice problem says, what starting material was used to synthesize the following product? And so we have an addition reaction and we're gonna kind of try to work our way backwards. So you have to kind of think about the product that you have, what got added across the pi bond. Um, you have to think about what was the regiochemistry of the reaction and what was the stereochemistry of the reaction. So we're given the reagents. So that helps a lot with considering the regiochemistry and the stereochemistry and also what was added across the pi bond. So H2 in palladium um, is a hydrogenation reaction. So we're gonna add two hydrogen atoms across the pi bond. Um, we know that this happens with syn addition and that we don't have to worry about regiochemistry because we're adding two of the same atoms. So let's take a little bit closer look at this example. So with this case, it's really important to take a look at our product um, because that's gonna really dictate what um, starting material we had. So in this case, we have our two hydrogens right here. And then we can see that there was a tetra substituted alkene as our starting material because there's um, one, two, three, and four carbon atoms um, that are present. So that kind of helps us narrow things down a little bit. If we're trying to work our way backwards, we can cross into choice three off right away. The tricky part of this is kind of distinguishing between into choice one and two. So you may recall that I said that this reaction occurred with thin stereochemistry where the two hydrogen atoms are added um, on the same face as each other. That is not what we observe in the product. In the product, we can see that the hydrogen atom and um, on the left-hand side is dashed and the hydrogen atom on the right-hand side is wedged. And so that's kind of a big red flag that we had a bond rotation occur. So keep in mind that single bonds can freely rotate. And so you can kind of think about the molecule in lots of different conformations. So how could we kind of view this molecule with the correct um, thin addition? We have to rotate that carbon-carbon bond and think about it like so. And in this case, we would have um, our two methyl groups, oops, sorry about that, um, on the same face. And the two hydrogen atoms would be on the same face. So all we would have to do is kind of, again, rotate that bond until the hydrogen atoms are on the same side. So both dashed, for example, or both wedged. And so when we think about the molecule like this, um, now we can kind of see what the true um, stereochemistry was. So in addition reactions, the stereochemistry of the starting material is also maintained in the reaction. So what that tells me is that in the starting alkene, the two ethyl groups are on the same face. Um, of the alkene, and the two methyl groups should also be on the same face of the alkene. So if we work our way backwards and think about what our starting alkene should therefore be, we're gonna have one in which we have a tetra substituted alkene in which two ethyls are on the same face and two methyls are on the same face. So this is gonna correspond to molecule number two. Um, don't be fooled by kind of the group here pointing one way and the group here pointing another. Um, again, free rotation about those single bonds. So molecule two has the correct stereochemistry of a starting material to correspond to our final product. Okay, so this question again was very kind of tricky because you had to look at the product and think about rotating that bond around until we had the right stereochemistry to bring this reaction about. So Always kind of keep stereochemistry in mind um, and remember that those single bonds can rotate.